All right. The next project. House is ongoing. Plenty of stuff to do. This is the one that I'm probably looking forward to them a little bit more. So, most of you should already know what this is and what it's going to be. Another E30. This one's a Bauer, so kind of like convertible, but not really. I had to pick a bow for the project because there's already extra reinforcements in the back because this is going to get turned into a ute. We've got the donor tub up here <clears throat> and the rear window. So we cut all of this back out, cut all of the tub out and then put it into the E30. This one's got damage on the front quarter picked it up extremely cheap and I'll probably part out part of it as well engine's still good and the trade we did yesterday rear canvas and the cover that goes over the canvas when it's down we traded that for a passenger door because the one that is on there Ain't no good. And we also got a bonnet. Because again, the other one is rusty. And there's already enough work in there to do without adding rust repairs to it. So we're gonna swap the bonnet over and then I'll just give this one away. The other door doesn't have the window mechanism in there and I'm gonna have to mess around with that hi me uh, also trying to track down a roof cut out of a coop so I can remove this and the canvas top and then have just a solid slick top roof seats come out tracking down some m4 seats boot comes off, parcel shelf comes out, all of this just gets removed. We chop it somewhere around here and then that window gets placed here with the tub back. Haven't quite worked out if I'm going to do a tailgate yet. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not though. So we'll get the bonnet off, swap that over, have a look at what the door's got going on. This one has electric windows, which is really good, but it just means there's more to swap over into the other door. But front seat's no good. Passenger seat's all right. Dash, as always with these, cracked. I do have a E36 steering wheel and column and we're going to be trying to put that in so then I have steering wheel controls there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with the dash so I'll just leave that for now but basically none of what's sitting here is going to be staying on not going to be reusing the cluster trying to update it so it's as much a new car as possible really so yeah, we'll get the bonnet over, swap that out, and that should be it.
Nice. Didn't get the uh, lines too bad. It's going to have to come off another hundred times between now and finishing the project. Yeah, that's a pretty good fit. Nice. <laughs> So if you need any parts, let me know, because it's basically all got to go. Most of the interior need a bonnet, no, not a bonnet, well, yes, I've got a bonnet over there that you can add. Boot, parcel shelf, parcel shelf's um, steel bit I'm going to have to cut out. Uh, I'm even removing the spare wheel well because I won't even be able to get in there by the time I put the tub. And this is going to be a very long-term project. So I'll try and get updates out here and there. I've got a couple of parts that I've already picked up that I'll be reconditioning and then probably installing straight away just so I don't have this huge accumulation of bits in my workshop. We're going to do a five stud conversion, whole bunch of stuff. <laughs>